peace and blessings. Welcome back to the channel once again, where we talk all things health and healing from a holistic perspective. And today will be no different. Today, we're going to talk about the eight detoxification pathways or elimination pathways that are essential to maintaining your health. Okay. Now, I know a lot of you are familiar with my detox. And one of the things that my detox does is stimulate these elimination pathways to open up because they become stagnant. They become oversaturated with toxins, mucus, acidity, waste, both waste that we put in the body and waste that is created by the body in its metabolic processes, okay? So it's important to know and understand that these elimination pathways are connected to our health in so many different ways. And the unfortunate thing is we're not really taught about this as healthcare professionals in school, the importance of looking at these elimination pathways. And one of the things that I do when I help help coach somebody along with their health is I tell them or I ask them many questions around the conversation of their elimination pathways. How many bowel movements are you having a day? Have any, any skin issues that I should know about? You know, have you had any pain on the upper right side of your abdomen? Um, you know, how often are you urinating? What does it look like? What does it smell like? How often, you know, you know, uh, what is the consistency of it? Does it, the, is it, is it foamy when you pee? I'm asking all of these questions because many of these things are linked to the menstrual cycle. Again, all of these things are linked to how we get rid of waste out of the body. Okay. And it's so important to know and understand it's not just what you put in the body. It's also what you have to eliminate from the body as well, too. All right. So we're going to jump into what these eight elimination pathways are. And the reason why I think it's important we have these conversations is because you have to be the master of your own health. OK, and to be able to do that, you have to understand what these elimination pathways are becoming saturated. What are the signs and symptoms to them as well, too? And I'm hoping that after this conversation, you'll be able to kind of have at least a blueprint or a roadmap as to how I look at, you know, um, my health and also how important these are to your health as well, too. OK. So the first things first, number one, the liver. OK, the liver is the master detoxification organ. And the reason why is because. We think about toxins that coming from our food, toxins that are coming from the environment, etc. But we forget about the toxins that our bodies are waste products that our bodies create through its natural processes. So the liver is instrumental in that. And taking those toxins, those waste products, putting them in a less harmful form, and then putting them in a form that can be eliminated out of the body. The reason why that's so important is because if you don't eliminate it, it accumulates. When it accumulates, it damages the tissue. Okay, so imagine this master detoxification organ having to process all of these toxins that are very acidic. Well, acidity causes irritation, which leads to inflammation, which leads to tissue damage. And when tissues are damaged, organs are damaged. And when organ systems are damaged, the entire system of the body becomes damaged as well, too. And we know that as disease. Okay, so hugely important to know and understand when you go in to your doctor and he says that your liver liver enzymes are elevated, this is telling you that something needs to be shifted. Either in the diet, your, co your cosmetic or hygiene products, uh, your lifestyle, etc. Something needs to be shifted. Okay? And it's especially important. Listen, this is how important the liver is. If you lost two-thirds of your liver you still could regenerate your liver from the remaining one third. That's how important the liver is that the body realizes that in its ingenuity that, yeah, if I lose two thirds, I, I still need to be able to do the work, okay? So hugely important we know and understand that as well too. From the, from the standpoint of you have to look at your liver health as if 
this is going to be one of the primary determinants of my health, okay? So hugely important. Number two, the lungs, okay? The lungs don't only just remove mucus. The lungs also remove harmful gases. And sometimes what can happen is the body, the, the body is taking, the lungs are taking the blood. And one of the primary jobs of the lungs is to put oxygen into the blood. Because when the blood comes to the lungs, that blood is deoxygenated. Okay? When you breathe in, now you're putting it oxygen into that blood that then goes to the heart. Why is that important? That's important because we need oxygen in virtually every cell of our body. But it's also important to know and understand that the lungs are also pulling out harmful gases as well too, like carbon dioxide. Okay? So the lungs, the lungs are actually a detoxification organ as well too. Okay. Also with that mucus, you'll notice that sometimes that mucus will be a different color or yellow or green. Well, that's infection. So that's another way that the body is getting rid of some of the actual uh, infection as well, too. So hugely important to know that the lungs are a huge part of how we maintain our health and eliminate waste, infection, et cetera, as well, too. Number three, the lymphatic system. And this one is really big because we don't talk about this one enough. And quite honestly, we kind of glimpsed over this when I was in school. But the lymphatic system is really important because it removes waste from the interstitial space, spaces, that space between when the capillaries are soaking up all the blood or tra uh, you know transitioning the blood and some of that li liquid leaks out. Guess where it's there to catch it? The lymphatic system. Okay, and that's really important because in the lymphatic system, you're going to have white blood cells, which are called lymphocytes. These lymphocytes attack and break down bacteria, viruses, damaged cells, and cancerous cells. That's pretty important. So most people don't know that your lymphatic system actually plays a huge role in not only fighting cancer, but preventing cancer as well, too. Okay, so that's hugely important too, fighting infection. So sometimes when your lymphatic system becomes stagnant, there's no flow there because of a sedentary lifestyle, because of an accumulation of toxins in the body as well too. And dehydration, the list goes on and on. As a result, now you lose these abilities, which are very important to fight off infection, to be able to fight off cancer, get rid of damaged cells that have damaged DNA that can lead to cancer. Okay, but also the lymphatic system filters the blood. It also removes impurities. And guess what? Again, it fights infection. Okay, so if you live a very sedentary lifestyle, then guess what? The cost of that is going to be a very stagnant lymphatic system. Okay, so you got to get moving. We got to get to the, get away from this sit at the desk, eight, eight hours lifestyle, get into a car drive home, Netflix, never moving. Our ancestors were constantly on the move. They had manual labor jobs where they were working outside. So they're not, not only are they being exposed to nature and fresh air, but they're also moving as well too. So it's important to know and understand that we have to, we have to get back to a movement lifestyle where it's an active lifestyle. Even if you got a cubicle job every 30, 20 to 30 minutes, you should be getting up, doing some squats, doing some kind of movement, okay? So the lymphatic system is another part of the detoxification systems or pathways. Number four, bowels. The bowels are important, as you know, because you can actually see that waste, you know? And here's the thing. Most people, even if you are having bowel movements, most people are, aren't having a full bowel movement and they don't even know it. And the other thing that's really important is when it comes to the bowels, as I was saying before with the liver, the liver will process excess estrogen or excess other hormones. It will then break these hormones down to a less harmful form. And guess what is eliminated from the body? Through the bowels. Okay, so as I was saying before, these systems work together.
okay? Number five, the kidneys. The kidneys are getting rid of uric acid, okay? Uric acid, which is hugely important because, I mean, you start accumulating acid not only in the body, but in the kidneys, that's what's going to break down your kidneys. It's called uric acid. I mean, we call it urine, but it's uric acid. It's an acid. And that acid will kill tissue, okay? It's especially in the kidneys because that's where it's concentrated. So it's saturating. When it becomes it starts to accumulate, it's saturating the tissues with uric acid, okay? So the kidneys are another part of how we eliminate waste, okay? And one of those primary wastes, again, is going to be uric acid. And if we start to look at your uric acid levels in the body, we start to see the blood pressure go up. We start to see obesity go up and we start to see all kind of other issues manifest as well too. So again, it's important to know and understand that when we see, when we start to see the beginning stages of issues with one of these elimination pathways, take the kidneys for instance, the kidneys are directly connected to our blood pressure. So your blood pressure issue could be simply surrounded by the whole idea that you're not properly removing uric acid, okay? Hugely important. So you got to have good kidney function. And um, when you start to go to your doctor and see that that kidney function isn't where it needs to be, that needs to be your focus, okay? So again, you're always going back to look at where... Where is my elimination stopping? Where is it stagnant? Because that's going to tell you where you need to focus. Okay? So the kidneys, number five. Number six, the skin. The skin is the largest elimination organ. Okay? The largest elimination organ. It's the largest organ in the body. See, most people don't consider the skin an organ, but it is. Okay? And that's your skin is constantly eliminating. See, we only look at the skin as if it's beautiful and the complexion is and tone is nice, we think all things are all good. But if your skin isn't eliminating, the unfortunate consequence is going to be, you're gonna see an accumulation of those toxins that would have left the body still in the body, okay? Still in the body. And these, these toxins include heavy metals, acidity, mucus. So when you see those pimples, that's what you're seeing. You're seeing the skin trying to eliminate mucus, acidity from the body and also heavy metals as well too. Now, and this is why quite often, if your skin becomes stagnant, okay, you'll start to see rashes. You'll start to see hives. You'll start to see pimples. You'll start to see acne. You start to see that, and the reason why you see that is because the unfortunate thing is now that elimination pathway has become blocked, okay? So now you got to get on your work to get that elimination system going, okay? And that means the sauna, that means exercise, because that's going to get this, the skin sweating again. This is going to help the elimination, okay, process. All right, number seven. Number seven is the vagina. For women, that your period or menstrual cycle is actually a detoxification process. So the shedding of your endometrial lining, that is part of your, your detoxification as a woman. And it's also how excess hormones are removed from the body as well, too. Okay? So it's hugely important to know when you have an irregular cycle or your cycle is very heavy, uh, or you're having a lot of uh, painful menstrual cramps, all of this is just the indication that there's too much toxicity in the body, which means that you got to figure out first, what are you putting in it to cause this? Also, you got to figure out what imbalances have been created internally as well, too. So that's hugely important as well, too. And that's something that I always sort of have to educate women on when I'm working with them one-on-one. -on -one is how they can actually be a partner in their menstrual cycle as well, too. And then the last, number eight, elimination pathway is spiritual 
and emotional. We have a spiritual and emotional body. Now, in this case, this is not a physical thing, but I'll tell you this, the same way if you had a negative thought and that negative thought could lead to depression and that depression could lead to uh, elevated cortisol in the body, which could lead to high blood pressure, which could lead to an ulcer going so forth and so on. And that started from something that wasn't physical, just the thought. This, that's the same way we have to be very intentional about getting rid of spiritual and emotional mental toxins as well, too. And this is something that quite often isn't talked about enough, but it's really important conversation that needs to be had because I see a lot of people do all the other things right. They change their diet, they exercise, you know, but they don't do the work when it comes to spiritual, mental and emotional toxins from being removed or eliminated. And one of the things that you'll you'll notice for those who have done my detoxes out, out there, when you do the detox, not only do you feel this, you know, this physical elimination where now your belly is flatter and now you're having a, a, a lot of bowel movements compared to maybe having them once a day or every other day, but you also feel spiritually lighter as well too. Even during the detox, I've seen people, you know, especially during my 30 day group detoxes, seeing people say like during the detox, I just started crying for no reason. And the reason why is because those emotional toxins and spiritual toxins start to come out of the body in the form of thoughts and the sport in the form of energy and frequency as well too. So it's hugely important to know on your healing journey you got to tap into the spiritual and emotional detox as well, too. Now, the thing that I want to say before I get out here, keep in mind, as humans, we have been developing for hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years. And for millions of years, our bodies have not been exposed to food chemicals, you know, uh, the pollutants in the, the air, the toxicity in the water, um, the list goes on and on. The, the the endocrine disruptors, the fake estrogens, the things of that nature, the forever chemicals. That literally came in place. If you were to look at the human development on a time scale, it literally came in place in the last two or three seconds of our existence. So for hundreds of thousands of millions of years, our bodies have have been developing and being exposed to only things that are natural. So our, these detoxification systems are very aware of how, how to deal with things that are natural because there are natural toxins. There are natural, you know, uh, things that are waste to the body that the body knows exactly what to do, deal with. But again, when you start to look at the amount of toxicity that we're being exposed to when it comes to hygiene and cosmetic products, makeup, food chemicals, pesticides, herbicides, and insecticides, um, endocrine disruptors, plastics, the list goes on and on. That just happened in the last two or three seconds of human existence. So this is why we're so sick today. And this is why it's so important that we pay close attention to these elimination pathways. We detox almost like an oil change. And we make sure that we also are very intentional about the things we put in and on our bodies. Okay, so I hope this has been helpful. I hope this gives you at least uh, a navigational pathway, a roadmap as to how to navigate these detoxification pathways to know if yours are functioning properly. But I also help you, I hope it helps you understand how important it is that today, more than any other time in human history, why it's so important to detox on a, on a scheduled maintenance plan. OK, which is why I detox every three to four months. All right. So until the next time, peace and blessings and Godspeed.